An important class of signals that we shall be dealing in this course is the class of periodic signals. A signal is said to be periodic if it exhibits some kind of rhythm or periodicity or repetition. Mathematically, it can be expressed something like this. Say for example, for a continuous time signal, for a continuous time signal to be periodic the condition that can be satisfied that has to be satisfied is x of t must be equals to x of t plus k times t s t naught what is this t naught t naught is simply the duration after which the signal is going to repeat so it is the period of the periodic signal it is precisely defined as the smallest value smallest positive value for which this expression holds true now this condition must be true for all the values of t and for all the values of the integer k what does this mean the signal must repeat after every integer multiple of the period t not if that is the case then the signal is said to be periodic similarly for the discrete time case for a discrete time signal to be periodic x of n must be equals to x of n plus k times capital n what is this capital n not this capital n not is simply the period what is the period it is the smallest value smallest positive value for which this expression holds true now this must be satisfied for all the values of n and for all the values of k let's consider the case of sinusoids the continuous time sinusoid is defined as something like this mathematically it is defined as x of t equals to capital a cos 2 pi ft f not t plus theta we can see that the sinusoid the continuous time sinusoid 
can be characterized by three parameter the amplitude the peak amplitude the frequency or the inverse of the period and the phase if we impose the periodicity condition here so imposing periodicity let's see after imposing the periodicity condition the signal appears to be periodic or not we obtain x of t plus integer multiple of say the duration t naught appears to be a cos 2 pi f naught into t plus k t naught plus theta so that appears to be a cos 2 pi f naught t plus integer multiple of 2 pi plus theta so this is the same as the signal x of t therefore the continuous time signals the continuous time sinusoids are periodic in nature so this is continuous time sinusoids Now let's look in parallel about discrete time sinusoids. The discrete time sinusoids are obtained from the continuous sinusoids by sampling. So x of n times ts equals to a cos 2 pi f naught times n times ts plus theta so imposing periodicity here we obtain that x of n plus k times n naught is equals to a cos 2 pi f naught n plus k times n naught into t s plus theta so this simplifies uh, a cos 2 pi f not n into ts plus 2 pi f naught k n naught times t s plus theta this can be expressed as a cos 2 pi f naught by f s as t s is inverse of f s into n plus here you may see that this ts that is the sampling duration and this f naught it again appears to be 2 pi small f or we'll write that as f naught by fs into k times n naught plus theta 
we will give some notation to f naught by f s that is the what we call as a discrete time frequency discrete frequency sorry so that is equals to a cos 2 pi small f n plus 2 pi small f k and not plus theta now in order for this signal to be periodic this must be equals to x of n now for that purpose this term must be integer multiples of 2 pi so let's write that 2 pi f k n naught so it is Two pi f k and not must be equals to some integer multiples of two pi. So this two pi gets cancelled, and here this term, which appears to be two pi f not k and not t s. that is 2 pi f small k small f into n naught must be equals to the integer multiples of 2 pi that means that the small f must be ratio of two integers the most important conclusion that we have come up with a discrete time sinusoid may not be always periodic for that to be periodic this condition must be satisfied if this is satisfied then only the discrete time sinusoids are periodic what does this condition mean the small f that is the now we will define that as a discrete frequency must be a rational number then only a discrete time sinusoid is periodic We shall see more on this in the next module. Thank you.